everyone and welcome back to today's segment of Talks with Props. Today I have with me Dr. Robin Pittman, who is an instructor in the sociology department. Can you tell us a bit about where you're from and where you went to university? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm originally from Ontario, um, and so because I did a bachelor's, a master's, and a PhD, I went to three different universities. So my undergrad was at Nipsey University, which was a small university in northern Ontario, which I really liked. I did my master's at Trent University, and then I did my PhD at the University of Washington. As a student, did you um, have the chance to work in university? Yeah, good question. Um, so work on campus that I did was I was volunteering in a research lab. It was a cognitive, um, a cognitive lab, and uh, I ended up getting a job with them as a research assistant. Um, so it was kind of like my in-house university work. And then outside before I did that, I worked at Blockbuster and Waitress at Switch LA. Uh, you need to make some money. <laughs> cool. Um, what drew you to holding office hours in IPB? Oh, so one of the main reasons was it's learning the learning lounge here is very accessible it, the location is great it's in the middle of everything and my office in the anthropology sociology building is very far away <laughs> so in your experience what has been the best part of um, holding office hours here both as a professor and a student mm -hmm. uh, what I what I think is the best part is um, if you have a student come to your office it's just them so that can be very intimidating they may not want to meet with us they may not even come Whereas now that I'm in a public space where I can have multiple students coming in at a time to look at their midterms or come and ask questions, it doesn't feel so intimidating. It's a bit more friendly. It's in a space that's familiar to most students. They've been in here either to the library or study. Um, and then when they come in, they're quite surprised that this is what this space is for. So it's also easier to find me. So I, I, I think those are some of the best things about it. Favorite food on campus? Ooh, Mercante's Pizza. Um, favorite place on campus to walk by or through? Uh, the main mall area, just because mm -hmm. I walk with my dog a few days a week uh, to and from campus. And so I just love that because you get to see the mountains as you walk closer and closer to the Rose Garden. Favorite all-time music artist? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it changes. Um, for a while, I really liked The Strokes. Um, that was one of my favorite bands. What's your favorite season? Oh, I would definitely say um, I do prefer spring um, just because it's, you know, it gets warmer and so on. But it's actually my second favorite. My first one is fall. I love watching all the colors change. Uh, and also, too, the fashion changes. So we also yeah. get to have those nice warm sweaters. And um, But it's not mm -hmm. too cold, but not too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, favorite place that you have visited? Last year, I got to go to Bali in Indonesia. Uh, and it was probably absolutely surreal. Down the street from our hotel was the monkey sanctuary forest, and that was probably one of the most surreal things you'll ever experience. It's a couple of thousand monkeys running around, and they own the place, and you're a visitor, and, and that was a really fun place to go. What's a place that you've always wanted to visit? Good question. Uh, Japan is actually on my list, and so is Australia. The top pick for book that you're either currently reading or have read before? What I'm reading right now, uh, it's going to feel really heavy. It's Esther Perel's uh, Mating in Captivity. I've read it before, but I read it again. It's more like a therapy book about um, uh, couples and monogamy in, in this particular time. But a kind of fiction book I really enjoy that if you said read these again, it would probably be the Harry Potter series. <laughs> um, favorite movie and or TV show? Oh, my favorite movie right now is The Gentleman. It's the new Guy Ritchie film. Um, I really enjoy that one. Uh, before that, it would probably be Fight Club. Uh, favorite TV show right now is Schitt's Creek. Uh, it's really good. I can't stop watching it. <laughs> what would be your dream job if not a professor? Well, my other job that I do outside of here is individual couple and family therapy. So some days I do think that's my dream job. Or I do flirt with the idea that if I couldn't do being at UBC or my job as a clinician, I would probably be a baker. Ooh. And I probably have like a cafe selling baked goods. Yeah. yeah. And that brings us to the end of today's chat. Um, thank you all again for tuning in. Um, see you next time. Bye.